The objective of this experiment is to understand real and apparent depth method and, de and to determine the reflective index of water for part number one and the reflective index of transparent sheet for part number two. Imagine like you are a bird and you look at the fish underwater and the position of the fish that the bird can see it should be different. It's shallower than it used to be. Why? Because of reflection. Okay. But for our experiment, we're going to use the coin in, instead of uh, the fish. We're going to place the coin into the beaker. Why we do that? We do this one because for part number one, we would like to know the reflective index of water or N1 that's going to be the first uh, medium. Okay, the position of the coin have to be the center of the beaker at the bottom of the beaker. The position of the coin or the position of the real object is an initial position we set up at 4.00 cm. And there is no reflection because the light travel path just only one medium is the air. And when we talk about this position later when we use the microscope, the real depth measure from the surface of the coin from the surface of the water or the first medium. For the real depth is big edge. The light travel from the first reflect from the first medium and then across to another medium or reflected okay from the normal to the normal. Theta one is the angle between incident ray to the normal. Theta two is reflected angle measured from normal to the reflected ray. From this one, using Snell's law, you see the light travel from the bigger or larger end to the smaller end or lesser end. You see the light will reflected away from the normal line. And what you see, when you see the object just stay away, that's why you see the object is shallower or higher than it used to be. For appellant depth, appellant depth starts from the surface of the image of the coin to the, to the surface of the water. That's going to be L, appellant depth. And you're going to find out the position of this image of the coin. We call this position at final position and that you can find out from the experiment. It's soon we got 4.24 cm. And you know initial position when you know because you set it up by yourself and you find a final position later from the experiment. The distance difference between initial to final position that is small edge. This one of the distance difference, small edge. Then you can get appellant depth. The appellant depth is big edge subtract with small edge and that's going to be L. And that can lead you to get in of water or in one. Then, using Snell's law or the law of reflection, in one side, theta one equal to n two side theta two. 
And also, if you look at light angle, the big light angle, you find tan theta one. And you see big triangle tan theta one, tan theta is opposite over adjacent. Then tan theta one is AB over big edge, and tan tan theta two, you see that small light triangle. And then tan theta two is AB over L. You divide tan theta one by tan theta two. You got L over big edge. Using Snell's law, you got sine theta one over sine theta two for very small ang angle. You got n two over n one. And that can lead you to get, and then you get. N one equal to H over L. You value big H start from one point zero zero centimeter. Next gonna be two three four. And when you pouring more water or H is greater, you get different L. L is also greater too. And you get average for N one. And that's gonna be end of water. Next, you need to plot the glass. If you look at this equation, it's a linear equation. You rewrite this equation as h equal to n one l, or y equal to m x plus c. If you look at this one, y axis is big h, and x axis is l. Okay, then you get straight line, and you can find slope slope of the glass M is n one, and you get slope that you can get n one. That part number one, and for part number two, you just change from water to transparent sheet. Just do like a part number one. Repeat it. And change water to the transparent sheet. Big edge of transparent sheet is um, the thickness of the transparent sheet. But you got only one transparent sheet in the box, and there is no graph because you cannot vary big edge. What you can do is just vary initial position instead. Now, how to do the experiment using traveling microscope, and what difference between traveling microscope to ordinary microscope? If you look at this one, what is similar to ordinary microscope is um, focusing knob. When you adjust with a uh, focusing knob, you see the position. Along the scale, you see main scale and vernier scale, and the position along uh, this scale is not changed by uh, using b o g a s i n o p But when you use vertical translation, not this one, you turn in anti-clockwise plus anti-clockwise direction, and you see the position along this one is also changed. When you turn it anti-clockwise, the position of this one will going up, 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 up. At first, I suggest you to set up at four point zero zero. Why? You should not adjust at zero point. Zero centimeter, you can, but you cannot do the experiment. The experiment with this bigger, then you are better at just at four point zero zero centimeter at the beginning. If you cannot see it clear, you can use magnifying glass to help you. Four point zero zero should not be four point oh one or three point nine nine. You need to. Set up at four point zero zero. Then you place the coin at the bottom of the beaker and place under this microscope. C 
see at the bottom and at center of the bottom of the beaker. Next, you adjust with focusing knob. And you see sharp and clear image and that is the position of the real object because there is no refraction, no water, just only air. Next, you need you need a reflection. Then pour the water start up to uh, 1.00 cm using this vernier caliper. And which part of vernier we're going to use to measure the depth of water? This one, this one, or this one? Yes, at the bottom of this vernier caliper. And then we're going to place into the bigger measure from see the surface of the coin and then you pour the water okay up to 1.00 centimeter when you got it okay we're gonna place this one okay the bigger back under this microscope and again and what you're going to do to get to sharp image again because now the image is clear it's not clear anymore because the image is shallower what we're going to do we're going to adjust with this vertical translation knob but not but not focusing knob anymore okay we're going to use this vertical translation knob turn anti-clockwise direction Okay, you adjust until you get sharp image again. You use this one. Okay, and you see this step is going up, up, up. Yeah, until you get sharp image. You use this one, and the position along this scale is changed. You read it, and that's going to be the final position. Okay. This, this step, okay, you can use this magnifying glass to help this with final position. For example, you got 4.24 cm. Okay, you record. Next, you add more water. Going to be 2.00 cm next. And then going to be 3.004 and the final going to be 5.00 cm. Okay, you will look at our data, you see. Okay, here is the initial position and that. 1, 2, 2, 5. 1, 2, 5 is the depth of water. And this is final position. Okay, final position. Next, you can get the distance different. Edge, small edge. Okay. And what's next? You can get apparent depth of L. And when you get L, you get the refractive index of water is N. Okay, for five different N, you get average of N of water. And not enough? Okay, you need to plot the graph between H, big H and L, apparent depth, and get N from the slope of the graph. Next, okay. Part number two. We, we, we're going to use transparent sheet on the top of the coin instead of water. But from the beginning, okay, we're going to place the coin on the table. Okay. Initial position, you need to start. Okay, for example, you start from 3 or any position, 3.00 cm, for example. And every time that you start to do the experiment, don't forget to adjust with focusing knob until you see sharp and clear image of the coin or the real object. Okay. Next. Okay. We're going to place the transparent sheet over the surface of the coin. And now 
there is two medium. The image will be shallower, similar to part number one. Okay, what we're gonna do? We're gonna adjust this vertical translation knob until you turn it until you get sharp and clear image again. You use trans uh, vertical translation knob, then okay. The position along this one is changed. You read this one at final position. Okay, that's it. You record. Next, you cannot vary the depth similar to part number one. But what you can do, you vary the initial position instead. And that, don't forget to adjust with focusing not first. and similar to the other. Okay, just place the transparent sheet and then adjust this vertical translation knob again. And we do it for five times. And look at our data. See the thickness of the transparent sheet you use vernier caliper to measure. Okay, you get average of uh, the thickness of the transparent sheet is 0 0.95 centimeter. And then initial position, this is gonna be final position. And you change initial position and then you got variety of final position. Then you can get distant different uh, apparent depth and reflective index of transparent sheet and then get average of end of time sheet. And that's all for part number two.